Okay, our next lesson is on RGB scanning and ignoring object size. So in this one, I've got um, multiple colors. And so when you have multiple colors to your image, sometimes the, the black and white uh, grayscale scanning doesn't like that. So this is where the RGB scanning really does come in to, to play. So on this, we're gonna go ahead and load it in. And I'm going to scan it in the black and white first so that you can see what I get. Okay, so we're going to scan, direct cut, and we're going to go ahead and scan it in the black and white. Let's see what we get. Okay, and as you can see, we didn't really get much of anything. We got the, the, uh, the body, um, and let's see if I can zoom you in and let you see that. Well, that's as much as it's gonna be without taking everything apart. So as you can see right there, it's only seeing the little body, and that's obviously not going to work. So we're gonna go ahead and go back up here. and say okay to deleting, direct cut. Now we're gonna change it to the color scanning. So now we're in rec the color recognition and we'll scan this in. I'm gonna go ahead and stay zoomed in here. Okay, and then it asks you to frame the image. And so I'll bring this up into the white on either side and say, okay. Okay, so now you can see that it has picked up that butterfly and you can change the number of colors that it sees and you can preview it and see if it get if it gets it the way you want it to okay so as you can see my butterfly is just perfect right there now um, i'm going to put a little mark up in the white section up, and then we're going to do this again i it i didn't pick up anything that um that we would need to ignore the object size. So I'm gonna fake it out by putting a little pencil mark on the white paper. So again, I'm gonna frame this in. And I don't know if you can see it, but right there is my little pencil mark. And so I wanna hang on to that as well. Say, okay. All right, so you can see it right up there. So you're gonna go into this ignore object size. And what you're telling it is anything larger than either the height or the width in this size, don't cut it, okay? So we're gonna get rid of those little two black dots by increasing this. And as soon as they disappear, which they just did, they are no longer in black, they're grayed out then we've ignored things that small. So if you get a scan with a lot of extra things other than the image that you want, you can go into this ignore object size and get rid of all those extra little cuts that your machine's gonna try and do and leave you with just the, the image you want. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and cut out our butterfly. Get cut. <coughs> Zoom back out. All 
Okay, and here you can see real up close that little mark that I had made that to show you. So we can peel this away. And it actually found some of the, the white parts here, so I wasn't looking at it that closely. So that would have been something that we would have either ignored object size or we would have um, changed the number of colors to get those to uh, not cut like that. Um, so we'll play around with that in class, though.